With Lightroom CC on your mobile device, you can shoot in JPEG or RAW. Pro photographer Chris Burkhart can even use professional settings found on his DSLR to capture the perfect image on his mobile device. Now that I have those same images that Chris captured in New Zealand, here on my desktop in Lightroom CC, as well as on my mobile device in Lightroom CC, I can begin the editing process no matter where I am. So the first thing I'd love to do is try out the new profiles for landscape photos. Instead of using Adobe Color or Adobe Standard, I'm just gonna to switch to Adobe Landscape. I can already start to see the colors come out. I still need to bring up some of that shadow detail, so I'm gonna to switch to the presets where I've got a nice preset in the curve category called Lift Shadows. Now that I've done that, we're gonna go ahead and apply the AI-based Auto Tone to bring out that cloud detail. And now we just have a couple of finishing touches left to go. First, I'd love to bring up the light panel. And from here, I'm gonna increase the shadows a bit more, as, as well as bring down the highlights to bring out the clouds. And also, bring up the exposure just a bit more. Now that I've done that, I still wanna bring out that foreground. So I'm gonna do a selective edit. And from here, I'm just gonna hit the plus sign, tap on linear gradient, just like I would on a desktop, I'm gonna pull from the direction that I want the linear gradient to go in. And now I can go back to light and simply adjust the exposure just in that one area to bring out that foreground even more. So now I've gone from a camera raw file that started out on a mobile device to a finished product on the same mobile device here in Lightroom CC. And of course, once I'm done editing, my edits will sync back up to Lightroom CC in the cloud and down to all my devices, including my desktop. Any changes I make here are replicated throughout the entire Lightroom CC ecosystem.